everyone, welcome to another episode of my 7 days of makeup mixing madness. Today's video is going to be blush, so if you'd like to watch me cringe through this entire video, please stay tuned. Alright guys, this one's going to be a hard one for me because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that blushes are my favorite makeup thing to collect. So, I have all my blushes in front of me here and I'm going to scrape them up and put them in this little container. If you haven't been following my channel, this is episode 3 in this series and I will be linking my foundation and my concealer videos down in the description box below. So take a look at those if you'd like to. Let's get started. First one I'm going to go in with are my little mini tarte blushes so i have two here i have unstoppable and i have party which is the birthday gift at sephora this year okay here we go oh no look at the design it's getting destroyed oh i changed up the angle a little bit i hope that you guys like this angle better um, yeah, that one was a little bit awkward, I know, but it's hard to film when you have, like, such a small space, so. Next, I'm going to move on to my MAC blushes. I have two regular ones here. I have Gingerly and I have Peach Twist. Oh. Okay, this one's not too bad. It's not getting too destroyed. I wonder what color we're gonna come up with because most of my blushes are kind of like in this color family. So it's gonna be very interesting to see the color we end up with. This one is gingerly. Oh, this one's gonna be hard. So this is one of MAC's Extra Dimension blushes and this one's in the color Hard to Get. Had a beautiful design on it, but I've used it up a little bit, so. Oh, look at that. It kind of like scrapes into little curls. That's interesting. Like chocolate. And then these two are also their extra dimension blushes. This one is faux sure. And this one is hushed tone. Put those ones in the mix. And then next, I'm going to move on to my Milani blush. This is in the color Bellissimo Bronze. It's a beautiful, like, orangey color with gold in it. Now I have some Tarte blushes. I have three here. I have Risqué, which is, like, a peachy color. I also have Seduce, which is also another nudie pink color. I mean, they look identical here, but they're different, trust me. And then I also have this one here, which is the classic um, blush in the shade Exposed. So I'm going to pop these three guys into here. Oh, I'm totally ruining the design. Alright, now onto my NARS blushes. Oh, I absolutely love these. I only have two right now. I have the color A Love Joy, which is this like beautiful bronzy color with a nice sheen to it. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna go from the corner, I guess. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna take a couple more swipes of this MAC one. Because I can get enough. Seems like I don't have that much, like, of a mixture here. Alright. Next, I'm going to move on to Warm Soul. Oh, this is a classic um, MAC blush, which is kind of impossible to open. As you can see, all my blushes are kind of like in that same orangey, peachy, terracotta-y color family. <laughs> Um, up next are going to be my Becca blushes. These are so beautiful. This one here is Songbird. It's a stunning, like, orangey color 
with a beautiful sheen to it. This one is very, very soft, so you can see that I got quite a lot of product. And then this one is Wild Honey, another like orangey terracotta neutral color. And this last one that I have from Becca is called Sweet Pea, and it's actually my favorite one. It's a beautiful neutral blush with a kind of like a mauve undertone to it, and it has a nice, actually, silver sheen to it. So it doesn't have that typical gold. It's more of a silver sheen kind of thing. And last, but certainly not least, is my Ambient Lighting Blush. And this one here is in Dim Infusion. So... Now that I have my little mixture here, I am going, whoops, I'm going to put it into my little container and then I'm going to add some rubbing alcohol to it and mix it all up. Ooh. The magic of editing, I have my blush here already dry. As you can see, it's kind of like a peachy neutral color and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I'm gonna put this on my face. I am actually on my way to work. So if this doesn't work out, this is the blush I'm gonna have on my face all day. So pray for me guys. As I suspected, it seems to have that peachy sort of color to it. Oh! That is, that is beautiful. It doesn't have as much of a sheen as I thought it was going to have. A little bit hard to blend. Like it's kind of just like sticking to my cheek. I don't know if you can see. It has a little bit of a sheen, I suppose. But not bad at all. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that you're enjoying this series. Please do take a look at the foundation and concealer videos I have up. I think they're super interesting and it's kind of fun to play with makeup and experiment. I will have another video up for you guys tomorrow, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you have any questions and would like to subscribe to my channel or give me a like, I'd really appreciate that and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.